Hi everyone, it's Elise Dorflinger from Elise's Genealogy Blog, and today we're going to be talking about My Memory Shelf. So I really wanted to share this with you because this is a really awesome and important heirloom to me. It's very near and dear to my heart, and um, I'm really excited to show it with you. So this is the actual shelf, and the awesome part is that not only is every item on that shelf an heirloom, but so is the actual shelf. My grandpa Max Dorflinger is the one who welded that shelf. He was a welder and definitely an artist. He actually worked for McDouglas for a long time, and then later he worked for Boeing. Um, and let me give you a closer up of that detail there. So that's the detail of the shelf, and I really, really love it. It's just so pretty. It's so simple. Um, that simple S curvy shape with the flower. It's really simple and really basic, but I think that's kind of what makes it beautiful. The only new thing on this shelf is the wood because the original wood was rotting out. So my cousin John was very kind enough to install new wood for me when he brought it to me. So this is on the top shelf of my shelf, and um, this is an owl that my grandpa made. He really loved birds, and a lot of his metal sculptures were of birds. Um, and I, I really love this one. It used to freak me out as a kid, though, because can you imagine in the middle of the night walking out and seeing that? It's, it's like the eyes are just staring at you. It was so creepy. Um, but now that I'm older, I, I've really grown to love it. And it's actually quite heavy. Um, my mom and I used to joke that if someone ever broke into our house, we would use this as a weapon because it could totally take someone out. <laughs> no problem. These are some more metal sculptures that my grandpa made. You'll see the the one on the far left is a cowboy-like image um, of a man on a horse. And the middle one is a deer with uh, antlers. And the one on the far right is actually a man carrying a child up the stairs. And it's actually a piggy bank that actually has change in it, although I have no idea how to get the change out. And out of the three, I would definitely say that the one on the far right is my favorite, mainly because my grandpa really loved children. Um, he was the father of six kids, and as all of his kids can atone to, um, he never played favorites. He made each of his kids feel like they were his favorites because they were in their own way. Um, he kind of loved each of his kids for who they were and really realized how special they were. He loved being a father. and. It definitely showed. This is a photo of a really beautiful perfume jar thing that I have. I'm not really sure the story behind this one. Um, I'm not really sure if it belonged to my grandma or maybe someone else in the family. I'm not even sure really if my mom maybe just picked it up somewhere along the lines, maybe in a thrift store or something like that, since she really wasn't one to wear perfume. Um, but I really find it really beautiful. This is a teacup, and this was actually one of my grandma's teacups. Um, my grandma loved, loved, loved teacups, and so after she died, my mom went, my mom inherited a lot of them. She picked, she picked a lot of them out, and I actually have a whole shelf that lines a bunch of them, and I love the detail that's in them. And I think that the teacups are probably one of my favorites, simply because I also love tea. I can't get enough of tea at any time. Um, I find it rather addicting, but I think that this teacup is just so pretty with all the intricate rose details on it. Here's another de uh, teacup, which didn't come in very well in the picture, but um, it actually I, I like this teacup because I think it's so unique. I mean, there's so much detail on the teacup, but then I also like that it kind of has little feet on the bottom of it but to hold it up, which I find really, really unique. And this is another one of my favorites, which, okay, I'll admit they're kind of all my favorites, but I really like this teacup because it has the little thingy that you put the leaves in. I have no idea what that is called, and I probably should have researched that before making this video, but um, if you have loose tea leaves, this is what you put them in, and then you put that in the water to let it seep, um, and I kind of think that's the coolest thing in the entire world, and one of these days I will actually use it and buy you know, loose tea leaves or something to actually use it because I just find it so cool. So this is a clock that is also a photo frame. And on one side you have my mom with her older sister, and then you have the clock, which does not work. And then on the other side is a picture of me in my adorable toddlerness. 
This is actually something that used to hang up in my grandma's house back in the day. She was a devout Catholic, sent all of her children to Catholic school, and um, she went to church very, very often. She was very, very active at her church, which was St. Joan of Arc in Santa Monica, and she had a lot of little um, religious figurines like this hanging up in her house. I really, really love this picture frame and the pictures that are in it. Um, my cousin Carrie put it together, and the top is a is a family photo that was taken late 60s, maybe early 70s. Um, and then below that is the picture and is a picture of my grandparents' house. And I just find it really cool because the top picture is a family photo of what the family was all like at that time period. You know, so it includes all the children, and then it also includes. Um, actually their one grandchild and all the sister all the not sister the daughter-in-laws and everything like that um and that photo was taken right in front of my grandparents house so the bottom showing the actual house the way it looked at the t at the time is really cool to me because I've been to the house it's actually in Santa Monica and I've seen it um but it had long been sold before I was born and you know we didn't go inside obviously because <laughs> someone else lives there um and it looks a little bit different, but it was really cool to have my mom explain to me, you know, oh, well, if you go in the hallway this way and then you turn that way, then that would be one room. And then you go down the other hall and you turn that way and it would be another room. And So I really love just kind of seeing the home that my grandparents lived for pretty much their entire married life and the home that they raised all six of their kids in. So that is my memory shelf. Thank you so much for watching, and I'd really love to hear how you kind of share your family heirlooms or your family stories with your non-genealogist family members, because one of the things I really love about this shelf is not only does it really bring me a sense of pride having it in my home, but it also is a great way for me to showcase my family history with my friends and my family members when they come over. Um, people are always very intrigued buy the items that are on the shelf and they always ask questions which is really cool because I actually get to share that family history with them which is a pretty rare occurrence without you know the eyes glossing over and that look of I'm totally daydreaming and not really listening to you coming upon their face so I really love this and I hope you really enjoyed this video and I'd love to hear about how you share your family history with your family members thanks bye